Hello, hi. My name is Mo Moon, and you are watching a video on my channel here, Mo Moon. Um, if you happen to enjoy this video, I'm going to ask you now to please subscribe to the channel and give me a thumbs up if you do appreciate this video, just so I can um, get a sense of um, how I'm doing, if people are enjoying the content that I'm providing, if people enjoy the way that I read tarot, every tarot reader reads tarot differently. Um, so, you know, it's easy for a tarot reader like myself and probably a lot of other tarot readers to compare the way they read to other readers and to think that they aren't, you know, um, that good at reading tarot. But if you give me a thumbs up or leave a comment, um, letting me know if you feel like it was helpful, um, that would be really good because then I can just feel a little bit better in my skin, a little bit better with my gift. And, uh, and I thank you a thousand times for that. So as I said, my name is Mo. Welcome to my channel. And this uh, fortune reading for 2021, the full year, um, is for Leo Suns. So I'm going to be doing a full fortune reading starting in the month of January 2021, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and then De December of 2021. And I'm going to start with a scrying message. We're going to go then into a present energy tarot card. Then I'm going to pull one card um, from my tarot deck and one card from my oracle deck for each month of the year, 2021. Um, at the end, we are going to pull a tarot card to find out what the biggest overall message is that you are going to um, learn and receive. What's the biggest lesson you're going to learn? What's the message you are going to receive um, when 2021 is coming to a close? what will you be able to see as your greatest takeaway from the year and lastly i'm going to be doing another scrying message to see if there's anything else um, in my crystal ball to see if there's anything else um, that spirit wants to send you as a message so i hope you're doing well it's november it's really warm here today though i think it's 17 degrees where i am in the northern hemisphere so that's nice um but at the same time, it's a little strange because we did have snow the other day, <laughs> but that's the way it is here. It's constantly changing and I don't mind the change. Change is good. Uh, so as I said, this is a Leo Suns tarot reading and it's your full fortune for the year of 2021. It's going to be a long video. You are welcome to watch it in sections if you don't have the time or energy to watch it all in one shot. But I do feel like it will be beneficial for you to see what the energies are surrounding your year of 2021 and how you can work with those energies to create the best version of yourself and to create the best situations for yourself as well. Tarot reading is not anything set in stone, but tarot Tarot reading does predict energies that will be there and that if you know about the energies that are going to be there, you can maneuver yourself through those energies by using different um, tricks and tips, um, you know, that you can find through other tarot readers or through self-help books or even through me if I, if I give you any tips and tricks um, on how you can not only survive but actually thrive through the different energies. Because you know that um, I'm not an astrologist, but as, as you probably know, um, the moon, the stars, the planets, the sun, um, everything above us reflects what is around us in our energies. So when Mercury is going retrograde, I'm sure you must have heard that communication is a little difficult, right? So um, that being said, there's an energy in the air at that time. And so tarot allows you to see the energies that will be um, in, for this reading present in each month of 2021 and to see how if you know what the energy is going to be like, it's almost like you can expect it. And if you can expect it, it's a lot easier for you to maneuver yourself through it. So I do feel like this is going to be a helpful video for you, Leo Sons. So let's just, I've already cleansed the crystal ball. I'm just going to see if there's any messages. Uh, bear with me. It could take some time. I might not say anything right away. I am looking for some um, pictures or messages that I will be able to give you, Leo Sons. Um, before we start the full reading. So it's just to kind of, oh, it's like a warm up. It's like when you um, go to the gym and you stretch your muscles before you lift weights, okay? I'm, I'm seeing a trampoline, a bouncing trampoline.
seeing a bouncing trampoline, but nobody's on the trampoline. The trampoline is just bouncing. And I think that's a message that's saying that the energy is there. The energy is present for you to, to take a hold of. Um, when you jump on a trampoline, the energy that you put onto the trampoline, it continues to move because with your momentum, the trampoline continues to move. So right now, this is a message to say that the energy that you need to move is already moving for you. It's already present for you. And it's something that you can take advantage of. So... So let's get a present energy tarot card for you, okay, Leo? So we're going to get a present energy tarot card to see maybe what, what your situation, well, to see definitely what your situation is right now. So Spirit, please give me an energy card for Leo suns, Leo sun signs. Oh, here we go. Popped out. Oh, two cards. We have the two of cups and we have the strength card. Well, the strength card is you, right, Leo's? This is your major arcana card, strength. So I see that with this strength card presently, you're feeling strong. Whatever the situation may be, you are resting assured that you are safe being yourself. Um, this is presently what you're feeling, all right? So the month of November and December 2020, before we go into January 1st, 2021, you're currently feeling very strong, very much in your own power. And you have the Two of Cups, which means that you're not feeling alone. You're feeling like there's someone in your life that you can rely on with the Two of Cups. Um, perhaps somebody that you've just, just met, um, somebody that um, sparks your flame and gives you that strength to carry on. Um, but I see that you have somebody in your life that is giving you strength for sure. And you are feeling like it's a mutual respect between you and this person. So it could be anybody, right? It could be anybody in your family, any of your friends, anybody that you just met could be a lover. But I see that right now your your connection with this person, person Leo's, is very, very strong. And it's giving you strength. And you're giving this other per person that's in your life strength. It could It's probably just one person that we're talking about right now. I don't think it's a group of people. But there is somebody right now, presently, Leo's, in November and December that you're feeling quite close to. So that was the present energies before we get into the future energies. Okay. So we're going to go into one tarot card and one oracle card um, per month. Okay, so January, January 2021 for my Leo sense. What is the message for the energy surrounding January 2021 for my Leo sense, please, spirit? We got one card, whether it flies out or whether I have to pick it out, we're going to get it. All right, so we got this. I'm going to take one from the middle, okay? Didn't pop out at me, so let's just grab one. We have the four of wands. Okay, um, the four of wands is stability. So in January 2021, there is stability for you, Leos. Um, with the four of wands, I'm seeing something that you're celebrating. Something that's making you feel like you can celebrate. You could be moving into a new home, but that's not necessarily for everyone who is a Leo watching this. Um, you could be working on your home. You could be doing some sort of feng shui while you redecorate your home or move your furniture around. You're doing something to make you feel safe within your four walls where you live. Or you're finding another place to live. You're also preparing to receive um, love into your life. You are, your, your four walls can also consist of your body, right? Because your body is like a temple. You dwell in it and you take care of it, um, hopefully in a, in, in a proper way so that you can live a long time and so that you can live a healthy life. So with the four of wands, it's also about taking care of your body and feeling at home in your body, feeling comfortable with yourself, feeling uh, self-confident, self-assured, um, self-reliant, um, being 
able to let people let people love you, Leo. I see that with this four of wands. Um, you have a lot of willpower um, to create the best scenario for yourself in January. You could be doing this with somebody else by your side. Likely you are. Likely you are doing this and you're not alone. Again, it could be about that person from your from your current energy that we had, the, the, the Two of Cups, with the Strength card and the Two of Cups. I was talking about somebody that um, you feel connected to. It could be that going from November and December 2020 into January 1st, 2020, you, you are preparing um, a new home, fixing up your home, painting your home, um, helping someone else with their home, um, again, feeling comfortable in your body, perhaps getting a tattoo to make you remember somebody that you really loved. Um, but it's a very physical, um, a physically structured energy that you have in January, Leos. Something physically structured, but something that's also guided by love. You're not alone in this for sure. If you happen to feel alone in January, I invite you to reach out to somebody, whoever comes to your mind. Um, if you see a symbol that reminds you of a person, I encourage you to reach out to that person. Because if you feel alone, what you need is to be reminded that you aren't alone. That's January 2021 for the tarot card. So now we're going to get January 2021 for your oracle message. Spirit, one oracle card, please, for January 2021. The Fortune of Leo Sons. <laughs> If I don't look at them, I feel like I'm going to drop them all. They're so big. But I love this deck. It's beautiful. I feel like, okay, there. That wanted to come out. A moment's regret. Card number 16. A moment's regret. Nostalgia. Idolize, idealizing the past. Fearing you've made a mistake. So, you know, as with every good day, there are also bad days. What I'm feeling for you, Leo Suns, in January is that you will have a very up and down month. Sometimes you'll be feeling really, really high on life, really, really happy that you're settling into your body, into your new place, or feeling more comfortable in your home. But then you're going to have a little bit of down moments where you feel like you regret um, decisions, decisions you've made. You are feeling close to... Things that happened in the past and you're feeling a lot of emotions in regards to those things that you're thinking about in January. You're idealizing the past. You're thinking maybe things were better before I decided to make these moves or before I decided to change um, who I was. And you're fearing you've made a mistake. Um, perhaps in a move, perhaps in a, in a new routine that you took on. Um, perhaps with a friend. Perhaps there's a falling out with a friend in January. I don't think it's a permanent fallout. I think it might just be maybe a little argument that you guys kind of took too far. But for January, um, there is no negative energy. It's just really about you. The, and the, the energy in January 2021 for you, Leo, is one as such that you need to be aware that life is kind of like a roller coaster. You know, sometimes you're going to be on top of the world and sometimes you're going to be going down, you know, but... Um, the wheel is of the wheel of of the world is always turning. The world is always turning, and there is always you know sunshine after the rain. Um, you know after the a, a sad night comes a beautiful sunny sunny day. The sun rises, the sun sets. You know there are cycles of life, and we can uh, have faith in the cycles of life. And I think that one thing that you can have faith in, as far as the cycles of life goes, is that. Even though you may have tough, tough days in January, some tough days, you can be assured that um, with the four of wands being security, that you will always come back to your security and how you feel secure where you are and with who you are. So yes, there's a little bit of uh, emotional roller coaster for you in January. I see that for the energy. How you maneuver through that energy is up to you. Like I said, I think it's best to always remind yourself that you do have security, that you are moving forward, that you don't need to look back and regret. But if you need to feel those feelings to learn about yourself, that's fine too. 
sometimes we need to feel the feelings, right? Because if we don't feel the feelings, we don't ask the questions. And if we don't ask the questions, we don't get the answers. So that's January for Leo's. Let's go to February 2021. I feel like you do have good energy though for the year, Leo's. Popped out. Queen of Swords for February. February 2021 for Leo Suns. You have the Queen of Swords for your energy from this tarot card. Um, with the Queen of Swords, I'm, I'm reminded of a very responsible queen. I'm reminded of somebody who has deep, deep thoughts, but doesn't speak until she really feels she wants to. And this could relate to whether you're a male or female, okay? We both, we all have female and male energy within us, regardless of our gender. So the Queen of Swords for you in February is saying that you have a lot of deep, deep thoughts and you don't wanna share them. You're not interested in sharing them, Leos. Um, you could share them and you may share some of your deep thoughts and you'll, when you do do that, you'll do it very eloquently because you have the Queen of Swords and she's very eloquent. She's very intelligent. And a lot of that is due to the fact that she thinks things over thoroughly before she speaks. And she has that air of being a queen because of that, because she doesn't just blabber out whatever she wants to say. She speaks when she's thought through what she wants, wants to say. And when she says it, people listen. And so I do see that in... February, you have an audience. You have an audience. You have people who are waiting for you to speak. They know that you have a lot to say, Leo Sons. They're not forcing you because you do have that status of queen and nobody can force a queen to do anything. She is the ruler along with the king. So no one's going to force you to communicate with them if you don't have the desire to. And in, in a sense, I feel like they're also going to have a sort of sort of fear as to not they're not going to want to talk to you till you're ready because they know that also with the queen of swords you can be quite um, choppy with your words so if somebody pushes you to say something and you need to defend yourself you will you will speak but your words will be choppy they can be hurtful because you're speaking the truth but you're also speaking through the force that someone is putting on you to speak so could, there could be a family member who's pushing you to explain something to them about yourself and you will cut them off very easily with what you say. It will make sense. It will be straight to the point. It will be clear, concise, and um, it will tell them what they need to know about not bothering you until you're ready to communicate or if you even do want to communicate. But there is a very big sense of uh, you having a lot of structure in your mind in February, um, very structured mind, very deep thoughts, very progressive thoughts, um, and very regal attitude. When I say regal, I mean like a royal attitude, somebody who, not snobby, that's not what I'm going for. I'm going for more of an attitude of composure, um, discretion, intelligence, really that kind of attitude behind your speaking. Hey Leo Sons, so that's um, the tarot card for February 2021 and let's draw an oracle card to go along with that. February, eh? Queen of Swords. Oh, came up. There we go. Becoming braver. Wow. <laughs> Resilience, experience, growing stronger, fresh perspective. becoming braver, along with the Queen of Swords. 
So in regards to speaking, when you want to speak, you are also learning of your powers, Leo. You're, you're learning of your power to be who it is you need to be in the moment. And because you're trusting your instinct in February, you're building up bravery within yourself. You're becoming more resilient, more difficult to tear down or to destroy. You're resilient. Your experience, experience, you're experiencing what it's like to be like the queen of swords because you're experiencing the energy of air um, with the swords that goes along with the element of air, which the which is symbolic of the mind. Leos, you are ruled by the element of fire, but you're seeing what it's like to kind of be ruled by the element of air and you're feeling comfortable there. I don't know what the planets are doing. Could be something with Mercury in your sign. I don't know. I don't do astrology, but I'm just saying that you're feeling comfortable as the queen of swords, even though you're a fire sign. But the reason why you're becoming braver is because you are learning how to be the queen of swords when you're a fire sign. You're learning how to control your element of air, wherever that is in your chart. If you have air in your chart, you're learning how to control it. And if you don't have it anywhere in your chart, you're getting a taste of what it's like to uh, be able to, to maneuver the element of air in your mind. You're growing stronger through this because you're learning new things and you're having a fresh perspective because this is something that probably you've never experienced before. So coming into February, you're going on to new territory, but you're going there as the queen of wands. So you're well protected and you're well prepared and you're well um, in the right space of mind, of mind to be able to go there. Leo sons. That, that was February. February. So now we're going to March. Just checking all my candles are burning. My incense is burning. I'm going to bring that over here. Okay. So March. We did January. We did February 2021. And now we're on to March 2021. Spirit, what can my... Leo sons ex experience what will they experience as far as the energies are concerned in March how can I enlighten them by letting them see what March has in store for them their fortune for March 2021 for Leo sons please spirit okay we're gonna go in the middle Sometimes when they don't pop out, you have to pull them out. Okay, March. Okay, you have the Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Interesting. March for you, Leo, the energies. You have a choice in March with this energy this is an energy of this is an energy with the five of pentacles leo sends the energy of the five of pentacles for you for march it's kind of like a disappointed energy Something has disappointed you come March. You were doing really well in February. You're feeling on top of the world. You were feeling like, like you were learning. But I think that the, the month of February for you, the Queen of Swords and coming braver was really, really uh, grueling for you. You know, you enjoyed the whole journey. But at the end of um, February, you're, you're going into March and you're feeling a little bit lackluster. You're feeling a little bit um, de depraved, almost like... Um, a little tired out um, and a little bit like you've been shortchanged. Um, but this is also a card of hope to remind you that there is always someone watching you that cares about you in the sense that they want to help you out, that they want to get you out of your 
misery over whatever the situation is. They want to encourage you. They want you to see that the way you're seeing things is more catastrophizing than the thing actually is. They want you to, they want to help you to be able to see things with a clearer mind. So there's a big helper for you in March, even though you're feeling tired out and worn out at the beginning of March, I'm sure, because after, after February with the Queen of Swords and the Becoming Braver card, that's a lot of work for you. That's a lot of energy. So in March, we have the Five of Pentacles and it's, it's really about a sense of uh, not having what you need. But there's also, also that idea that you can ask for help. You see, there's an eyeball looking at this individual from within uh, a building and, you know, checking up on this person that's, you know, walking down the street naked, almost like there's something missing um, to keep this person warm. So that this person in your life in March wants to help you. They see you and it's up to you to ask for help. Because from where they're seeing you, they can't come to your your help. They can't come to help you because they, I don't know why. I think it could be that they just feel like maybe you aren't willing to take help. Um, and it's going to be a physical help. Physical and spiritual with the pentacles, the five of pentacles. Um, let's get an oracle card to kind of go deeper into that. March 2021, please, Spirit, for my Leo sons, please. What is the oracle saying to give us more intro, intros, introspection into the month of March for Leos, please, with that depravity card? Okay, we have, I want to be a queen. It's funny because you had the Queen of Swords in February. So you're thinking back to... February, in March, you're looking back at February with that Queen of Swords card that you had and you're thinking, I want to be a queen. Now that you're in March, you're looking back at the Queen of Swords and you're saying, I want to go back and be a queen again. Stating your sovereignty, declaring freedom, passing a test. So I see that in the month of March, whether or not you ask for help, which I do think would be a good idea because um, I, I still feel like asking a friend to listen to you or asking a friend to lend you some money if you need it or asking a friend to um, come help you do something in your house like paint or, or um, just going to visit somebody and they um, automatically have some way that they can help you. Following your spirit to not just want to receive from somebody but to want to give to somebody. So there could be somebody that even though you're feeling lackluster and down, um, there's something that you can do for someone else that will bring your spirit up. And maybe that person will give you back something in return because when you give, you always receive. Everything comes back to you. So you're declaring your freedom and you're passing a test. There's There was a test. There is a test coming in March. And I see that you pass the test. I see that you declare your freedom and you state your sovereignty. You say, I want to be a queen. You think back to the lessons you learned in February 2021, Leo. And now in March, you, you're doing well by the end of March. A little bit of a struggle with with, with the um, cards in, for March, I see. I want to be a queen. See, because in February, this is March, right? I want to be a queen. There. And in February, you had the Queen of Swords. So you thought back to that month of February to get you through the month of March. Leo Suns. Okay, that's good. So let's see. April 2021, please, for Leo's. April for Leo's, please. 2021 spirit. What is the energy? What is a fortune for them? I'm going to take one from the middle. Oh, no. I have to redo that because I was missing a card. Sorry. There was a card on the side there. I don't know how it got there. 
but we need all the cards that we can possibly get to get the message. Okay. April, 2021, springtime. The 10 of swords. Wow, you're done with something in April. You're done with something in April. Something is, you know, you're, you, you, you reach the end of your rope. There's no more wick to burn in the candle. Um, you know, the candle's burnt out and um, you've been through, you've been through all the stages of grief um, regarding what you're willing to accept anymore. You're, you're finished. You're no, you don't want to accept any more grief. The Ten of Swords. I feel like a, there's a lot of mental work in January, February, March, and April. There's a lot of mental work. I don't know what was happening in the background for you to be so tired out mentally by the time April comes around with the Ten of Swords. Let's see what the um, the Oracle card has to say because I I need a little bit more information. I need one Oracle card, please, Spirit, for April 2021. For Leo's sons, April 2021 for Leo's sons. Further information, please, Spirit. Keep your temper. Don't allow anger to rule you. So some someone made you really, really angry. Somebody's made or somebody has made you really, really angry at some point in April. You have to keep your temper. It says, don't allow anger to rule you. And you had the Ten of Swords. Somebody was playing mind games in the month of April. 2021. And you're done with the Ten of Swords. It's like, it's it's gone through you way too many times. You know, the, this person has hurt you way too many times. They've lied to you way too many times. They've put you down way too many times. They've... Uh, questioned your men your mental health way too many times but it's also telling you to keep your temper so um even though this person is going to drive you to the last like straw that you have um it's a reminder the energy wa spirit wants to remind you through this oracle card to keep your temper because you are a leo son and your your motto is i will so if you tell yourself i will not lose my temper or if you tell yourself i will keep my cool, that's even better than saying I will not lose my temper, saying I will keep my cool, I will speak my mind, I will shut the door, I will move on, you know, something like that, so that um, when this person wants to try to come back into your life, you know, uh, from time to time and sneak in and like, you know, be like an energy vampire in your life in April 2021, you know that you can, you're done with, you have the Ten of Swords, just means that it, you're, you have the you have the okay to be done with this person. Like if there's, if there's somebody that comes into your life in April, could be somebody that was in your life in 2020 that's coming back in April because I don't see them Jan January, February, or March for you, but I do see them coming back in April, somebody. And this is a person that you ha you've had a lot of struggles with, perhaps an ex-boyfriend or girlfriend, um, somebody, it could be a parent that kind of wants into your life again, find out what you're doing when they never really cared about you before anyways, and you know you don't have good vibes from them, and they're really just not a nice person in general. Um, don't allow anger to rule you, okay? Because if you let anger rule you, you're letting that person um win and so remember that you have the ten of swords and that that's an okay to be done with that because the ten of swords is a card that says you're done i'm done this is over you know so you have the ten of swords for april 2021 and you have keep your temper don't allow anger to rule you to say that you have you have the willpower to tell yourself that you can do whatever you want and if you can tell yourself i can do whatever i want to get through this you know i can just be the leo that i am the the the, the funny, uh, the funny, kind, warm-hearted Leo, um, you know, it's, it's not, 
when I feel like when you drive a Leo to their to their boundaries, they have to they have to turn around and defend themselves because they have the energy of the sun within them. They have that strength card, you know, as their uh, major arcana card. So there's you have a strength in you that will allow you to keep your temper and not allow anger to rule you and to stand up for yourself like a lion. You know, like if you if you tempt a lion, they will they will come after you. You know, and you won't be happy about it. So I think that that's kind of what April has for you as far as the energies go, Leo suns. May. Well, that's too many cards. I want one card, please, Spirit. May 2021. April, May. For Leo Suns, please. What does May's energy fortune cast have to say for Leo Suns? May 2021 for Leo Suns, please, my Spirit. Accurate energy for Leos, please. As you always do give up your energy. May 2021. We have the Seven of Wands. I see a search for you in May. There's something that you're searching for in May. And you're searching for it with a lot of energy and a lot of um, determination. The energy is really, really high vibe for you in May. The energy is really high vibe for you in May, Leo. Could be because the sun is starting to come out pretty strong again and your ruling planet is the sun. Could be that you're connecting with the energy and the nature around you. Um, you're looking for something spiritually as well as the wands can also identify as um, a source of spiritual energy. Um, I, I get the impression you're wanting to reconnect with the earth. Maybe doing something outdoors for you in May. Um, could be that you're starting an exercise class outdoors. You're starting your own exercise class for people to come and exercise with you outdoors. But of course, that's not for everybody. But that's the type of thing that I'm thinking about for May with this searching and willpower. Um, could be also that you're feeling a little lost too. So in May, you could be feeling a little lost, but you're also really well driven. Like you're driven, you're feeling lost, but you're going to find your way because you're driven to follow your heart and to make the things that you want to happen, happen. So don't worry about feeling lost in May 2021, Leos. Just remember that if you follow your heart, the fire in your heart, as you as, as you are a fire sign, you can follow the fire in your heart and that will lead you right to where you need to go. So let's clarify a little bit more with another oracle card for May for Leo Suns. May 2021, please, for my Leo Sun spirit. What is the energy for May 2021 for my Leo Suns, please, spirit? Thank you for the seven of wands that we got for the month of May 2021. Please give us more information into May for my Leo Suns, please. Clock time, card number 14. Let me just relight my incense. Clock time, time pressure in a rush. Ooh. Hmm. This is the card, Oracle card from May. It says clock time on it. Time pressure in a rush. I, I feel that um, energy actually, because with the seven of wands rushing through the woods, um, there's something that you're being pressed to create or pressed to do in the month of May. I don't know what you're preparing for in the in the near future in the month of May. I don't know what you want to do in June or July, August, September, or perhaps sometime this year. You want to start preparing for something right now during the month of May. You're preparing for something 
perhaps you're um, preparing a setup for something or um, someone's, you know, my milestone birthday celebration, um, maybe looking to do that somewhere outside because of COVID. I, I don't know if COVID will still be around, but maybe you're trying to find a way you can set up uh, a gathering outside for the celebration or for the the grand event that's going to be taking place some at some point before the year ends. Um, yeah, but in May, it's clock time. Time, pressure, in a rush. So I do feel like you're going to have the energy to deal with that, um, Leos, especially since you're fire signs. I feel like you have a lot of willpower, a lot of energy, a lot of determination. I feel like it's almost like you're going to be in your element in May. That's going to be your element. Uh, May is going to be a good month for you. I, and it does seem a little, a little bit grueling, but it's something that you want to do. It's something that you've been meaning to do for a long time. It's something that you're going to be more than happy to do. In fact, it's going to give you pleasure to do this for somebody. Um, and I really do feel like you're going to have the groundwork laid out in order to make this thing come to fruition. So we did January, we did February, we did March, we did April, we did May, and now we're on to June. June for my Leos, please. June 2021 spirit for Leo's sons. One tarot card, please. June. Not too many. June. middle card June okay we have the two of wands I'm feeling a sense of agriculture with this card the two of wands and this is June so could be that you're you're working on your garden in June I know that usually people work on their garden a little earlier, more, more like springtime and June is getting into, you know, summertime, if not summertime already, right? Um, although if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, I guess you're going, if it's if it's June, if it's summer here, it's probably winter over there. So um, I do feel a lot of winter activities with this card too, which is strange because actually reminds me of skiing a little bit. So perhaps if you're watching from the Southern Hemisphere and um, in the month of June, wherever you are, and if there's snow, you're gonna be doing some downhill skiing or some cross country skiing. Um, but there is a sense of accomplishing um, activities that make you feel like you're progressing. You're doing activities in the month of June that make you feel like you're being um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Productive. You're doing things in June that, that are allowing you to feel productive with the two of wands. It's a very balanced month too. So you're not, um, you're not leaning too far from one side or the other. You're not leaning too far. You're really balancing yourself out in the month of June. Um, Leo suns. Let's get an Oracle card for June, 2021. A second. Okay, I'm gonna go in the middle. June. Such a curious dream. Grounding, returning to reality, coming home. So there's a little bit of a calm, calmness in June for you. A little bit of a time off. Maybe it's it's a vacation month for you. Maybe you're taking a vacation. You're feeling really, really dreamlike. You're, you're kind of like in a dreamlike state. Um, you're enjoying outdoor activities and things that are making you feel productive. Perhaps when, when you do outdoor, outdoor activities, you feel like you're being productive physically. You feel like you're getting your exercise. But I do see that the month of June is one where you're taking care of yourself. You're doing things to make yourself happy, Leos. 
you're doing things that are making you feel grounded. They help you to return to reality. Once you've um, gone up, then, you, then you're able to come back down to reality. You feel like you're coming home. So you feel like where, wherever you live, every time you come home, you feel like, yes, this is my sanctuary. This is where I feel good. So your home life is good um, for most of you. That's the energy I get. So when I get the energy of your home life is good, let's say that you don't think your home life is good come June. Your challenge is to create a good home life in June because you don't just sit and let life bulldoze you over. You take control of situations that are not fitting for you, that you aren't happy with, that you want to change, and you change those things. And I feel like if there's anything that you want to change in the month of June, June is the month of June is a good time for you to do that because you have the Two of Wands, which is the productive uh, energy card. Um, you know, and a card of uh, doing things that will allow you to reap benefits in the future. Um, agriculture, so um, you could be working on planting or um, pruning the plants in your garden. Um, something that something that makes you feel uh, in touch with the earth and grounds you, but also something that makes you feel like you're using your creative side. Also, like I said, if there's anything that you want to change in the month of June, you have good energy to do that in June, Leos. You have a lot of good energy to make the changes that are necessary to live a life where you feel like you are coming home every time you come home, or you feel like you are coming home when whenever you go somewhere that you like to be. So now we go on to July 2021, Leo Suns. Oh, that just popped out. I didn't even have to ask. Three of Wands for July 2021, my Leos. I'm feeling a, a, a gift from spirit. In July the the energy that you believe in that powers you I mean you could be an atheist and if that's the case then you believe in your energy powering you if you believe in a deity and um, you know you also believe in ancestors or um, spirit guides in the month of July you're really feeling in touch with that energy of spirituality and you're being blessed spiritually in the month of July, Leos. And I know that July and August um, are Leo's birthdays. So I feel like this July, if your birthday, if you're a Leo and your birthday falls in July, I feel like this is a good time to make a wish and to set to plant the seeds in your mind of what you want to accomplish um, throughout the rest of the year. Um, I feel like lists are going to be a big thing for you in July, making lists or um, putting down your plans on paper. Um, I also feel this is a good time to create for you, Leos. July is, is going to be a very um, intuitive time for you where you will you will be able to use your connection to source and the divine or the, or the strength within your heart. And you're going to be able to make some good artwork or create some good music or... Um, um, whatever you do to express your, your, your creative talent, singing, um, I think that July is going to be a month where you really connect with that and you really, um, vibe with being that like creative hippie style person. Um, July is a good month for that too here in the Northern Hemisphere because the summer in July is amazing. Um, and I think that in the Northern Hemisphere, if we're in July... It could be that you in the southern hemisphere are kind of going into spring so you could be planting those seeds of you could be even planting seeds but you could also be planting those spiritual seeds of um, what you want to um, grow for yourself um, spiritually throughout the spring and summer see and fall seasons you're you're almost preparing for a new season of growth um, Whereas for us in July here in the Northern Hemisphere, it's really, really hot. Um, 
and I'm seeing you really enjoying flowers in July. If you're somebody who likes to put flowers in your home, I see that you have a lot of flowers in your home. Um, if you like plants, I see you have a lot of plants in your home. Perhaps if you're, if you're um, living, if July for you is a winter month, I see you having a lot of plants in your home to remind you of the spring and summer time, which is good for you. Um, um, it's very um, therapeutic for you. Um, also, if you buy flowers from a florist, I can see that if you're somebody who feels down in the month of July because it's not summertime where you are, I see that if you buy yourself um, a bouquet of flowers and put them in a vase in your home, that will bring a lot of love and light to your home and it'll lift your energy and lift your spirits. So for Leo, let's get an Oracle card for July 2021. The card we got is card number seven. It says, investigate, look closely, ask questions, and think before acting. Hmm, interesting. Investigate for July with the three of wands. For July. Hmm. Look closely. I'm get, I'm getting that with the look closely. I feel like if you have any downtime, downtimes in the month of July, your birthday month for some of you Leos, you need to look closely at the good things in your life. You need to ask yourself questions as to why you may be feeling down. Don't beat yourself up over it. Just ask yourself the questions that you need to ask yourself and think before acting. Don't let um, any depression control your life. If you need help with depression, go see a medical expert and they can help you get the right medication, um, be on the right sort of medication to feel more balanced and more stable in your energy and in your spirit. Um, I do feel like for July, for some of you Leos, you will be um, a little bit depressed. It could be because I, with the thing before acting, I'm getting the idea of suicide, which is really, really not a happy thought. But when it says think before acting, it's really saying like before you get to the point where you want to actually take your life, if any of you actually can understand this for the month of July 2021, make sure that you've set up a uh, a plan like if you do start thinking about suicide if you think about it once it's one thing but if it becomes a re a reoccurring thought you know you have a problem don't let let it become too reoccurring because eventually you'll be too afraid to ask for help i know it's always going to be a fearful thing to ask for help for depression especially if you've never had to ask for help for that before because you never experienced it before but try to get some time out in the sun try to because the sun will give you your vitamin d um, and that helps with depression, but also if you feel like it's more serious than just like having a bad day and feeling like you didn't do something right over the past couple of days, like if it becomes something that it's really serious, I, 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 I urge you to speak out. I feel like you have somebody that you can speak out to Leo's. And if you don't have anybody that you can speak out to, there is always, um, a crisis hot hotline. I don't know the number, but, um, you can always look up crisis hotline and um, then there should be somebody there, a counselor. Who, they pro they usually are open 24 seven and there could be a counselor that you can talk to um, and they can talk you through your situation of depression. I know that I have that opportunity sometimes with my counselor from through work. Um, they said that they're open 24 seven. And last time I had a crisis, I had to work, go through it alone because it was in the middle of the night and I didn't want to wake up my partner. But when I spoke to my counselor yesterday, she said, just remember that we always have a 24 seven hotline where if you do need to talk yourself through a crisis with somebody, you can do that. And it's, you know what, she told me that one out of five people suffer from mental illness. And it seems like when, when you suffer from mental illness or when you suffer from depression, which is also like mental illness, because your, your mind is not at its healthiest. Sometimes you think you're alone and it's taboo to talk about it, but what you don't realize is that there are a lot of people just like you. And the strongest thing you can do to help yourself is to ask for help. So 
I feel like with this card in July, you really um, delving into yourself. You could be feeling good delving into yourself because you do have that spiritual connection with the earth in July and you're really planting seeds for the future. But you could also have some downtime, some of you, where, where maybe you're not happy that it's your birthday. Maybe you don't want to get any older. Um, but some of you will be very happy it's your birthday and you'll be very happy with the energy. There's a, there's a little bit of a mix with the month of July. Some people are more upset and some people are more happy but um, the energy is good for both of you because with the in investigate card I feel like if you do get into a funk where you're feeling really down I feel like you you should make the plans in advance to always know who you're going to call if you ever feel like you don't want to keep going in life my friend told me that um, if you can drive yourself to the hospital, if you have the energy, um, if you ever start to think about, okay, so when you're depressed, I feel like it's one thing, but when you start thinking about ways you can kill yourself, you know that you're taking it a little too far and you definitely need help, whether that be speaking to a therapist, a psychiatrist, a psychologist. I know it's not always easy in the States because you don't have healthcare. In Canada here, we have paid healthcare. We pay, pay for it with our taxes. But even if you just have that one friend that you can call to come over and be with you when you're going through your down stage I believe that person will be able to talk you through the night and be a close friend to you because you're a Leo you're a good friend and they, they probably want to come back and be able to help you with something but they've never had the opportunity so now if you do get into that situation you can always call a friend and I do believe that friend will be more more than happy to help you and will be actually very grateful that they were able to help you So that was July 2021, Leos. So let's go into August. So August 2021 for my Leo sons, please, Spirit. August 2021. Which is brew. <laughs> I got that at the dollar store. August 2021. For Leo signs, please. Let me go to the middle. August. We have the five of wands. Okay, so in July, we have the five of wands. Okay, Leos? Looks like this. Well, there's a struggle for you or there's a struggle in the energy around you. It could, not, it could be and you that is struggling, but I feel like it's mostly the energy around you that's actually causing you to feel like you're struggling. But I think that whatever ha is happening in the world um, during the month of August 2021, it's causing you to feel anxiety over world situations in 2021 of July, uh, of August, pardon me, not July, it's August. Um, so August, wow. But you know what, there's always somebody to stand up and stop the fight. Somebody needs to um, speak into other people's lives and let them know that, um, you know, it's not always right to react a certain way um, in the world, you know, yes. Okay. I, I agree. There's been a lot of protests over things that are, um, unacceptable. Um, I feel like this is more of an energy card though. Something is brewing in the world and it's having, a, it's having an effect on you Leo's in August, but I need an Oracle card just to kind of get a bigger idea. The energy for August is the five of wands. In the collective, please, Spirit, what is the energy from the Oracle card for August 2021 for Leo Suns? To kind of give us a little bit more indication as to how the Leo Suns that I'm reading for are going to react, are going to be able to survive, thrive, live, be, think, act. Okay. Growing up, wanting to grow and experience rejection of perpetual youth okay so the uh, five of wands energy around you that's causing you to feel like you are also struggling 
um, is a situation that's going to help you grow up. It's going to give you experience. It's going to help you reject your perpetual youth. It's going to help you reject things that no longer serve you, August. So not only is there a lot of chaos in the world around you, Leos, with this five of wands and everyone fighting, um, I think that ultimately, even though things are going crazy around you in the world in August, Leo, you're, you're, you're feeling good. You're growing up. And you're also growing up because it's your birthday, right? August. Um, my brother's birthday is August 6th. He's a Leo. So, or is it August 3rd? Anyway, it's in August. And um, so you're growing up. It's your birthday, right? So, so focus on that. Focus on yourself. Focus on pampering yourself, loving yourself, um, making the wishes that you want to make for your birthday. Um, you know, whatever is going on, on in the world, it's giving you um, a knowledge and experience that you wouldn't otherwise be able to achieve. It's helping you to let go of immature ideas that no longer serve you and that are no longer needed for you in the future. And letting, and letting go of those things allows you to make room for new things to come in. And you can pick what you can want to come into your life. Like when you let go of things that no longer serve you or that no longer vibe with who you are, you can go ahead and bring in things that you want in your life now. It's like when you make space for something, something else will come in, right? So that was August. So August and then September. So for September 2021 for my Leo sons, please, what can we expect, Spirit? September 2021. I'm feeling a lot of good energy for you in, in 2021, Leos. It's it feels like very it feels like a very like enlightened energy for you, Leos. Because the energy that I'm feeling right now is like it's almost like I'm high, like, and I'm not. <laughs> I, I haven't smoked anything or anything today, um, but it's almost like my brain is on cloud nine, and I feel like that you know as I'm reading these cards, the energy of the cards lets me know what the energy is in total. And right now, the total energy is one of, one of just being like in a utopian mind state. So let's get a card for September. September, Queen of Pentacles. This is September's card for Leo's sons. For September 2021, we have the Queen of Pentacles. Somebody in your life is there to nurture you there to teach you. It's almost like with um, September has the Queen of Pentacles. The month before that for you, Leos, October had the Five of Wands and the Growing Up card. I feel like the Queen of Pentacles um, for September in regards to the month before October um, has something to do with a teacher showing up for you. Somebody, you've made room to learn new things, to, to bring in new experiences. And in September, you are meeting somebody who's going to be like a teacher to you, who's going to allow you to evolve into a higher master or a higher version of yourself because the queen of pentacles is somebody who is there to teach it's it's a very loving person it's a giving person it's a spiritually it's a person who's spiritually connected but also really really grounded um it has like that mother energy to it i mean obviously it's the queen but there's that mother energy if you can think of someone who is like a really good mother in your life i feel like that's the energy of this person that's coming into your life in september leos somebody that you can trust somebody that you can lean on maybe not somebody that you'll talk to daily but somebody that you talk to every now and then that person that you need in your life to inspire you. Um, I don't know if you already have somebody like that in mind that could be that kind of person. It could be somebody that you've never met before or it could be somebody that you meet like on Instagram or um, on YouTube. It could be somebody that inspires you on Instagram that you start talking to um, and that you start watching their, their Instagram stories and being inspired by them and that you start learning more of what you wanted to learn through this person who is farther along in their journey but that you are also on that journey now. So I do see that for September, 2021, Leos. But okay, let's get an Oracle card for September. For Leo Suns, please. Oracle card for September, 2021, for Leo Suns, please. I'm gonna take the middle one. 
mortality. Life is brief, bright, beautiful, and yours to live. Wow. Okay. Um, Leo Suns, you're getting in touch with your dark side in September. Um, it's, it's interesting because yes, we're going into the fall. So there is a lot more darkness as the sun is not up as long. We're going into the darker days, but you're thinking about mortality, which isn't a bad thing at all. You're thinking about mortality. You're thinking about um, how you're not afraid to die, um, how you love life. You're thinking about how life is brief, but how amazing it is. You're thinking about beautiful, um, how life is bright, beautiful, and yours to live. So you're also re reveling in your life. You're reveling in the, the life that you live in learning from this Queen of Pentacles um, person. Remember, it represents a teacher coming into your life or somebody to inspire you along the journey that you're on. But you're also not afraid of death. You're connecting with your ancestors. If you believe in ancestors, you're you're walking through graveyards. You're, you know, talking to your loved ones about people that have passed on and what they were like. Um, you're not afraid to die, which is a really like dark thing to say. But when you think about it, we're all going to die, right? So if you're able to confront those fears of death, in September, um, you will be stronger for it because how can you truly live unless you are truly afraid of not dying, you know? Um, and I don't mean to live recklessly. I just mean if you can let go of the fear of dying, you can actually pick up the, the joy of living. And I feel like that's something that you're going to ha have come um, into your life in the month of September 2021, Leo Sons. So we have October, November, and December left. So let's go into October. October 2021. Spirit, what is the fortune for Leo's sun signs for October 2021, please? The energy is good. It's, uh, it's picking up. The energy is picking up in October. There was that sense of utopia all the way up until September, but now in October, I feel like you're starting to move more into the, the zone of uh, making plans, making movements. October, the star. Yeah, so the hope card. October for you is a, is a big month of hope, okay? Um, I see, like like stars bring light, I see that you're, you, you have light in your life that's something inside you is, is being lit up. Um, it could be the, the light of, of hope inside you. You're feeling a sense of freedom. You're feeling a sense of joy, divine connection. Um, you're feeling a sense of stepping out of the box in October. Um, yeah, I see that. So let's get an Oracle card to just further um, go further into the month of October and see if we can get any more information. So please, Spirit, October 2021 energy for Leo Suns, please. What is their fortune for October? With the star card, card number 17 of the Major Arcana in the Tarot. Too many cards. One card, Sarah. Oh, there we go. Set your course. Know where you wish to go, have a plan, the right direction. What was I saying? Planning. Energy is picking up for planning. Know, set your course. Know where you wish to go, have a plan, the right direction. So you're making plans for the future. Um, it could be now that it's October that you're thinking about the new year in January. And uh, I'm getting the idea that somebody wants to buy a new car. Maybe you, maybe, maybe not you, but there's somebody that wants to buy a new car in the month of October. Um, you know, you're, you're going in the right direction with that. You have to continue to plan. Um, you have to continue to hope. You have to know where you wish to go. So keep a clear path in front of you. Set your course, which means that you will be planning what path you want to go on. Um, I feel like you're picking up a new exercise routine as well. Uh, maybe you let that go for a little bit, but now you're picking it back up, some of you. Um, yeah, and that star card, I do feel that hope, though, is the energy surrounding all Leos in the month of um, October. 
because we have this star card. So there's that hope for you. Um, whatever you're setting your course to do and wherever you're wishing to go, um, whatever plans you're creating, whatever direction you're planning on going in, you have that hope that's pushing you forward. And I think that with hope pushing you forward, Leos, you're definitely going to go in the right direction because if it was fear pushing you forward, I would say, okay, um, you know, be careful because you could make the wrong decision, but you have the star card, which is the card that symbolizes hope as well as other things, but definitely hope for what I see it as. And so hope is pushing you forward, which means that you can't move in the wrong direction. Yeah, you can't move in the wrong direction. So then we have November. We're almost done. We have November and December, and then that's it for the year reading. But we just have to pick a card to say what is the overall message. And then I'll do some scrying, and then we'll be done. I hope you've been able to stick through this whole video, and I hope it's been helpful for you. So let's see what November 2021 has in store from the tarot for my Leo sons, please. November 2021. What are the energies? What is the fortune of Leos in November 2021, please, spirit? Okay, I'm going to go to the middle. We have the Knight of Cups. Hmm. So we have the Knight of Cups for November. Could be love coming in. Could be love coming in for you single Leos in November. Could be that you're putting up some boundaries for yourself um, with people that are in your life, setting up boundaries out of love for yourself. Um, when I say setting up boundaries, I mean you know, telling someone that even though they want to spend like five hours with you every time they meet you, you can only really spend two hours with them because otherwise, you know, it gets too long and you feel like you're tired. Um, not that, that that's to the offense of the person, but it's just like, this is how much I can handle. So I feel like in November, you're telling people like, I can only handle this much with the people that you care about, you know, um, with people that you don't care about. I feel like it's more so, um, it's not an issue. Um, I don't see you putting up boundaries with people you don't care about because um, unless they come after you and then I do see that you fight for for what you believe and if they come after you and you're not interested in them I see you um, fighting for what you believe and sticking up for yourself because I really do feel like the month of November for you Leo the I think the um, key word for you is boundaries on for yourself and and when I say boundaries for yourself I mean setting up boundaries for your own self that others cannot pass because you are protecting yourself with the Knight of Cups in the in the shining armor. Um, that armor protects the knight. And so for you, the boundaries is like that armor and it's protecting you as an individual. So let's get an Oracle card for November, please, from my Leo sons. What is the fortune for November 2021 for my Leo sons, please, spirit? The Oracle card says, all in the golden afternoon, inspiration, creative spark, imagination, and conception, conception, excuse me. So all in the golden afternoon for November with the Knight of Cups. So I feel like this is the outcome of putting up your boundaries. You are inspired. You have a creative spark. Your imagination is flowing and the conception of things around you is becoming more clear. Um, and you are feeling high on life again. Yeah. For your, November, you're feeling high on life. It's a good energy month. Um, I don't feel a lot of struggles for you in November with the energy of these two cards, um, the Knight of Cups and the card number one, all in the golden afternoon. I don't feel that you're going to be drained in November at all. I think that your boundaries that you're putting up, you're putting up um, out of um, emotional um reason like there's something that you that you're feeling 
that is causing you to say, no, I'm not taking that SHIT anymore. And I'm not going to let myself feel this anymore. And I'm going to put up my boundaries against this person or these people. And I'm going to feel good. And, and you, you are going to feel good when you do that. You're going to feel inspired. You're going to have a creative spark. You're going to have imagination. And you're going to be conce conceiving a bunch of new ideas and a new, a new way of looking at life and living. It's all down there. So that's November for Leo Suns. And the last month we have is December 2021. So what does um, the fortune of the Leos look like in December 2021, please, Spirit? The last month of 2021, December 2021, what can we expect for Leo's sons, please, Spirit, as far as their fortune goes, the energies surrounding them and how they can use them? Oh, I fell out. <laughs> The Page of Wands. For December 2021, for Leo signs, we have the Page of Wands tarot card. Wow, you're making do. You're making do. You're um, using your noggin. <laughs> you're using your brain. Um, you're coming up with like invention type things like... Um, you're using your willpower to create something that no one has ever ever thought about before. Maybe you're making a new si a sort of like artwork. Um, maybe you're making something to help people maneuver better through life. Um, I'm seeing innovation with this card, the Page of Wands in December. I'm feeling a sense of innovation for you. Something, a light is being turned on for you in December, Leos. Uh, it's almost like you're having a really, really like um, amazing idea that you want to start making moves towards. Um, creative energy is starting to flow for you in December. Um, I feel like the rest of the of the year was about um, learning about yourself and about growing in, as in, in as an individual. And then finally in December, um, you you've you've kind of ascended to a point where you are now creating for yourself and you are getting downloads from the future from the past, from the present, um, you're getting downloads from energy that you're receiving from people around you and you're moving in accordance with the energies. And that's going to be the perfect way to move because um, if you move with the energies, that means you're flowing with the divine. You're flowing with the way things need to go, especially in a world like this where there's so much um, tragedy happening right now in 2009, uh, 2020. I'm sorry. In 2020, it's been a very tragic year. Um, December 2021 for you, Leos, you're coming up with some bright ideas, really, really bright ideas that could change people's lives. And if you're not that person that's coming up with some neat invention, um, you're doing amazing things in your own life where you're making things easier for yourself, perhaps picking up a new routine um, of uh, like for your day, maybe you're changing, you're switching up the routine of your day and it's making, um, it's giving you more of a uh, a spiritual connection with uh with with your your higher power because you have more time to do what you really love um you know it could be um making things easier in your nine to five maybe you need to drop a shift um to be able to focus on something that you, you've always really been interested in um it could be like i see planning i see innovation i see making things happen i see safety um because look at this guy, he's walking across the water, the ice, the ice water. Um, well, it's ice now, but it's made out of water. And he's walking across with two sticks so he doesn't have to, to walk on the water. I feel like that's really innovative. It's, it's protecting him. It's also challenging to him. Um, the individual in this card, um, you know, it's innovative. It's forward thinking. I feel like for you in December, there's a lot of forward thinking uh, for you, Leos. Uh, let's get an Oracle card to kind of go a little bit deeper into to December 2021 with the Page of Wands. Yeah, with the Page of Wands, you know, the page is always really, really like excited to start because the page, he's like a newbie. Um, he's young, he's vibrant, he's he wants to learn, he wants to learn the ropes um, or she, you know, the Page of Wands can be also a female. But uh, I do feel a lot of like powerful, creative starting energy for you in December. And um, yeah, a lot of anticipation for you um, of the months to come in December. You're thinking about January 2022, right? Because in December 2021, we can only go to January 2022. So I think you're thinking about the new year and how exciting you are, how excited you are for the new year. Let's just get an Oracle card. Do 
keeping up immense effort advance. Yeah, so you're keeping up, you're making immense efforts and you're advancing. That's December with the page of wands. I think that's quite accurate, right? Keeping up because you're not too slow, right? You're not too slow to keep up. You, you have that motivation, you have that energy, you have that drive, you're keeping up. You're like that page, you know, you have all that enthusiasm, you're keeping up. You're yeah, so you're making immense efforts, you're advancing. And, you, and you're doing this all with all the energy that you have inside you, all that firepower. You're advancing, you're moving forward. Um, you're making new plans for 2022 in December 2021, um, making vision boards, um, making lists. Um, yeah, it's cool too, because I feel like this is a, it's December for in the Northern Hemisphere is winter, and this is kind of like a winter scene. But here it's more like a spring scene for the Southern Hemisphere with the flowers in her hair. So the last card we're gonna draw for you, Leo Suns, is gonna be a biggest overall lesson card. What is the biggest overall lesson Leo's will learn, Leo's sons will learn spirit in the year of 2021? So what can they look back at 2021 and say, yes, I did learn that? Or what can they see now that will be their main theme for 2021 as they go into 2021 in a couple months? We're November 2020 today. And we have December 2020 and then we're starting 2021 and it's all about what are we going to learn in 2021 spirit? What are we as Leo suns, not myself, but I'm a Leo moon, but what are the Leo suns going to learn? Because this is for Leo suns, this reading. You can popped out. Oh, there. Knight of swords. Wow, wow, wow. The knight somebody who knows what he's doing, a woman who is well-versed in life and the swords. Wow. Okay. The swords, the, the, this, the, the, um, the forum of the mind. Okay. I, I believe that, um, your overall lesson uh, in 2021 Leo's will be how you learned to wield your mind to get the things that you needed to get done, done and to be victorious. You really learned how to manipulate your mind. Uh, when I say manipulate, I, I, I mean like mold it. I you learned how to mold your mind, manipulating it, molding it, making it into a certain way of thinking um, all throughout this year of 2021, all your, all your experiences that you're having throughout every month, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, you're learning how to be like the Knight of Swords. That's what your that's what your overall lesson is for 2021. Learning how to use your mind in exceptional ways. The Knight of Swords is a fighter. He goes into battle with his sword and he kills and he kills his opponent and he comes back victorious and he rece receives a medal from the king. Um, and you know he's he's equipped to do that because he has his armor so he's he's not going in you know without being prepared so i do feel like whatever happens in 2021 um everything that's happened has prepared you for going into the year next year and you're learning all this in 2021 how to use your mind in ways that are good for you how to have uh, clever conversations how to have um deep conversations, how to help have helpful conversations with people, how to express yourself and ask for help. I really do feel like that's the overall lesson for you, Leo Sons, for 2021, the Knight of Swords. So I'm just going to pick up my cards. I hope that was helpful for you, Leo Sons. And then we're just going to calm down the reading with just a little bit of scrying, which shouldn't take too long. gonna wipe my nose all right okay. so Leo signs I hope that was helpful for you let's just check to see what the crystal ball has to say if anything else 
Thanks for bearing with me. Hope you learned a little bit. I hope it was helpful. I hope you're ready for 2021. I think I would be if I was you. Sounds like it's going to be a good year. Um, eager to, to see how this resonates with you and how it plays out in your life. But hopefully you're more prepared now for 2021 Leo Suns. I'm seeing a tunnel with a light at the end of it. I'm seeing you focusing on that light. And no matter what you do, that light is always there. Throughout the darkness, that light is always there. You're always going to see that light. Even now, you're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. And for as long as it takes you to get out of this darkness, you will always have that light in your, in your sense of uh, perception, in your view. So that's the final message for you, Leo Sons. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, my name is Mo Moon. If you feel like you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Remember to comment if you want to. And also remember to subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. This is a six month old channel. Um, and I will, would love to have you as a subscriber and part of my family here in the Mo Moon arena on YouTube. Um, I will see you in my next video, Leo Sons. And until then, blessed be. Bye.